lento le yoguti you need to do one thing angazi itkalo uba you know guti who's the person that said it's a rule and that's what that was one of my biggest things in cool like ngafunukche lo guti you can only be this because where where legal people is it by believing that says thou out do one thing you know. This is the hustlers corner. Hey, what's up, guys? Big home is Buddha out here in Josie. I'm excited because we are recording another episode. As I promised you guys, this year we're putting in a lot of work. I know over the past couple of years we'd record one interview in two months, one in one month. I promise you guys you're gonna have an interview every week. And all of our episodes come out Friday, 12 o'clock. But I'm gonna work so hard that we get to a point where our interviews come out Friday and Monday. And I'll even work harder, so much so that by the end of this year we would have gotten into a structure that gives out episodes every week. Now the person that I'm hanging out with here today, by the way, before we go on, on your, um, let me say, your bottom left corner, which is now my right bottom corner, you guys are going to click likes. There's a sign there like this. On a count of three, we're all going to click it, right? One, two, three. Click, 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 click. Thank you very much. Now we go to the other side. So on your right, bottom right, HML. My left. Middle center. Choose bottom. a square. Yeah, yeah. Talk more, my baby has a pick a box. <laughs> <laughs> click the subscription button and don't forget to um, switch on the notification bell. I guess this is the most I'll ever speak on this interview because I'd like this um, guest that we have today to share their story. And for me, it's, it's somebody that I love, it's somebody I care about, it's somebody I'm, whom I'm generally uh, proud of. And it, it, he's somebody whom I feel like I'm a blood older brother to. And he's somebody that I brag about in my own spaces wherever I am, because he's somebody who doesn't disappoint. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you some of the things that you probably don't know his titles are he's a drama. He is he grew up as as one of those kids that a lot of us would be like but what is interesting is that when you watch a lot of the work that he does right now you will never even know the type of a person that he is in the inside he's rooted in the word of God and I think that's one of the things that make me um, love him so much because I do know his principles I know he, 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 what he believes in his values and not only that he just believes in or maybe he preaches them because he probably doesn't even ever say such things but I know that he practices them uh, so he's a drama he's a comedian probably some of you guys don't know he probably unearthed that at some point in his career I'm um, sure with some of the work that he's been doing you can tell with I love him He's a dancer, some of you guys probably don't know. He is a songwriter, he's a music producer, he is a rapper, he is an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur. Um, he's, okay, I've already said dancer, I've already said drama. What are you not, ladies and gentlemen, Robert Boy? Excess <laughs> Buddha? <laughs> and then Kumbulile, no. Yo, it's been a while, eh? Yo, shoot my, yo. <laughs> That's why I'm saying I'm going to voice notes or you play it, but you need to come back. Well, I'm going to play. In the morning, I'm going to continue to go over the pamu. That's it. I remember the one time I was in a very serious meeting. He made me laugh and serious. In a suit. Hey, dude. If only I'm neat, neat. And then you, a video of yours pops up, and I just so happened to watch it. I'm pamu, and dude, in the middle of a meeting. But I just love what you've been doing. Yeah. I I admire who you are becoming. You remind me of of a lot of myself. Uh, yes. over, you know, many years ago and I just want to keep contributing and uplifting you because of what you stand for, who you are, what you're becoming and, and, and just everything else just like how a Khrotman should be proud of in Don Ayab, you yeah. know, and just how you consistently outblast our light and, and I'm saying that, I know you, you will never say such a thing, you're very humble but another thing you're probably asking what, what do you mean light yeah, lento your fame because it's starting to become famous now. I'm Chinese because I can't remember the Chinese. I can't remember the Babona, Baso when they're still coming up, and then two, three years later, chigi, yo, chigi. they become something else, and you also become like I. I don't even want to just you know I don't want to be entangled in a space where I kind of feel like I'm imposing on this person, on Yabatina and whatever. If there's anyone, I can stand on any platform and be proud of. I can open any opportunity when it does come one day. Gladly so, even. And if there's anyone that I feel is like a younger brother to me, is this young man. His name is Mzi. Um, 
Mbuli. Yes, sir. Robert Poy, let's get into this thing. Oh, Shout out. I, I said, what Mbuli. are you not? Sure. Oh, what am I not? Uh, I'm not... I'm not a lot of things. There's other things you still need to add. A TV presenter, host, editor, oh, graphic yeah. designer, videographer, oh, yeah. photographer, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, ghostwriter, but you said songwriter, so it kind of counts. Uh, now, there's a lot, man, but I'm just a God-given, uh, talented kid. Um, and yeah, Nyabo Wangasbuda, like, you know, of course, Mounty, I remind you of you. You know, I, I used to see me as you. Um, Lento Leoguti, you need to do one thing. Angazi, you know, go to who's the person that said it's a rule, and that's what that was one of my biggest things in cool. I like, you can only be this because where, where, legal people by believing that says thou out do one thing, you know, Ali, and for someone like you to do so many things so well, that's what made me feel like now I'm not relate to you know. And it was weird because I thought this before I met you, so by the time I met you, it was like already god destined i would like to know your story let's forget these cameras now let's have a conversation sure sure who is mzi um mbuli uh let's share the story umzi mbuli intona is a little pin vili a cool elena lady in a city proof and was raised mostly in the south in mondio went to mondio primary mondio high uh mgi and as a my emigpela um, and just a kid that's God-fearing and that has these God-given talents. Mufuna munto kwa zukula, ushili imva kwa matez ka loka bala mape pa zbuzu kutu maranganza nga le talent ya miyukuli. Oru munto one, one creativity of and draw and artwork as zbuzu kutu marangfuna ngu le system so inga fulfill in terms of my passion. I want people to realize that Robot Boy doesn't have more hours than you in a day. So how is it that Robot Boy is doing so many things so well and he has the same 24 hours as me? You know, I'm the type of dude of you know, because you'll be surprised, Buddha, how many people are as talented and as gifted as us. They're just either sleeping on themselves or the system of saying Salawinte wine has got them on a lock, you know? And that's why I, I do what I do, you know, it's a passion to me. That's why I love it. That's why I do it easily too. But at the same time, I'm always trying to inspire the next person. Because firstly, every God-given talent you have is God-given. So you don't have the right to boast. Everything you have is, is, is it's, not about what you, it's not about what you do, it's about who you are. Because as an author, there's another author. As a musician, there's another musician. You know what I mean? There's, there's a lot of males. There's a lot of people that own businesses. There's a lot of, there's a lot of everything you do but there's only one Buddha. Understand? So you can only hold on and trust in yourself being unique and being the only one that God made, yes. Because as far as what you do, there's many comedians, dancers, uh, taller people, funnier people. So I've never held on to my talent and said, because of the talent, mean to him, because I can easily be replaced. On TV, on radio, on podcast, you can always be replaced with what you do. But it's about holding on to who you are as a moon and trusting the fact that as umzingi wan and sabin, so that's what you can run with, you know. So not being too um, boastful about the talents because you can be replaced, but trusting in you as an individual and the the mark you making in people's lives, as well as um, the impact you're putting in people's lives, you know. Um, earlier on, just of a I was saying uh, to Untang, I don't believe in fame, you know. I believe in influence. Because every influential person is famous, but not every famous person is influential. So you can be famous, you can have your numbers, but there's no engagement. Or you can be seen and liked, but when you say things, people don't follow, people don't do, people don't get inspired. That's the difference with being famous with no influence. So it's more of an influence thing, you know, everything I touch um, through Christ must prosper, but at the same time it must benefit someone else. You know? You know, I can also become something. And it doesn't have to be entertainment only, you know. And that's why I love the fact that we're both here. We're almost the same people, but you have more book, you know, businesses and public speaking also. Because I'm too much entertainment, but you're also business. So people can see that it's not about saying do a thousand things in entertainment, but you can even do a thousand things in corporate. You know, as an entrepreneur, 
So that's that's the bigger picture where people need to learn. No good thing. If you, you sow what you reap, you know, you reap what you sow. It's like if you don't put in the time, we live in a world where no one's going to do it for you. You know, no one's going to do anything for you. And in fact, it's crazy because some people, let's say Laba Boya Corner, the, 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 the surroundings they're from or their hood, the environment or their family doesn't really believe in them. And it takes a talent show like an idols for them to make it to top five. Because they can't because you know what I'm saying so that's, that's it's like it's crazy you know it's funny but if you think about it it's really deep rooted mm. to certain times people do want to break out and become these great people but it's going to take recognition or it's going to take a cosign you know and that's what I also want people to understand Uguti, you're talented with or without a platform like a platform acknowledging you is a nice it's nice to have a blue tick on instagram it's nice to have this but with or without that blue tick it doesn't mean you're not talented I mean when i got a blue tick i blue tick the blue tick <laughs> <laughs> like for me it was like okay sharp you know sure because it's not going to make my content funnier it's not going to make my music better it's not if you're a beauty person it's not going to make you look even more beautiful Yes, it's a badge, it's nice to have as an acknowledgement, you can have international reach or whatever, yes, but that blue tick won't do nothing if you don't do nothing. So a lot of people, but I'm a platform, like, you're a good actor, whether you're on a great soapy or not, you know, believe that in yourself first, like, self-trav is the first thing you need to have, you know, and then most of self-trav, you'll understand, you don't need anybody's approval to know that you're good at what you do. You know, believe in yourself. And then, yes, when the platforms come, you mention that, you show the articles, you show the cosigns and whatever, it's great. But don't let that be the main thing if you already believe in yourself, you know? Did you know how impactful or influential your father was when you were growing up? And what did that do to you? Or how has that contributed into you becoming the person that you are becoming or the person that you are right now? And yeah. by the way, for those who don't know, Itama like Umzwa Kembuli, the great, um, amazing South African poet. He, he was also an activist. He played also a very big role in liberating the country, just like what Abu, uh, the late, great Abu Mamaria Makeba did. May I so rest in peace. Abu, the late, great uh, of uh, Abu Prahu did. May I so rest in peace. What Abu uh, Bab, uh, Kaifas and uh, Mamale Tambulu did, Abu Bab Kaifas Semenya, and all those great people did. You need to remember what we're all doing now. Another one is on radio, another one is on TV, another one is singing, is a musician, another one is a book author, another one is an academic, another one is a politician, etc., etc. It was the same thing in their era. Um, his father was a poet and an activist, but locally. And when you listen to his father's writings and his mind, you can tell of the amazing black consciousness um, content that comes out of his mouth spitting venom, spitting truth, mm. unashamedly, unapologetically so. What did that do to you? Uh, so, first question uh, about the impact. I mean, I'm a great six, but this is land on my X5 bulletproof engine. You say, you want to come by? Sure. You know, in Calavara time. Uh, in Mondo. Sure. Yeah, still in Mondo. I'm a Remondio. That time, that I, back in those days, Remondio is like a Santi. Yeah, yeah. No man, it's keep, it's like, suburb. Yeah, it's no suburb. Man, in yeah, it's a suburb. Yeah. Sure, sure. We're in the south, you know. So, small things, man, like chilling at home. Mom comes in the room and says, Whoa, it's just Bugalini ETV. You know? Okay, dad's on TV shop. Kali radio. Okay, he's on radio. Uh, on his birthday, Figu Mandela. You know? It's like. Yeah? So it took a while to realize, well, I, I always knew it was a big deal and it was impactful and the world and the country um, recognized him. Um, and then what it did for me is it obviously made me realize um, who I was in the presence of. Um, because you know, I can't do anything because I don't have to do But I don't have to do outside. It also brings a, a bigger, you know, so... Because um, already as it is, so don't step. Already as it is, it's time like a theory. Yeah, apply. It's time like a span of people, but even if it's fun. Yes. It's time like as a kid, it's theory. Yes. I imagine it's time like a child, but man, they're all around. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Like, a ring, 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 a 
there's so much impact you know and and love for him too you know um and and people from london you know things gifts are being sent you know um i just realized it's okay uh and then i realized what he does or what he done when i got smart enough to start googling him <laughs> um and i think for me it just taught me uh how to understand the industry so it's like okay dad is in the industry one two he's also affiliated to government to some extent so it's like okay here are these two lanes and this is what comes with being here so in my in my growing up uh, i've always had these god-given talents um, i've always had these dreams and ambitions but it was more of a if anything this is what will happen if i land up here this is what will happen if i land up here so i just need to pick because this is the template i'm seeing you know it's easier for people to to see something higher than on tv you know because obviously as a kid on tv but you can't relate because it's still tv on bmx bicycles on x games like i want to be a dirt rider you know what i'm saying there's a lot of careers that people see on tv and and when wish to be in but it's easier to see it mouse and lean you know mouse and kai like i think it just showed me a, a pathway in terms of what this means and what what means also i, I learned very quickly in the media with me ninja they came to interview us at the house and this lady in magazine this magazine comes to the house but i did tell me they to buy interview time they say in the room there was bongo drums do i know how to play i'm like yes but please play something ngadlala something yabo but uh so that's like grade five. Oh, okay I, i think grade six yeah mark pumi articulate a corner laban papala and mzwa kimbuli junior jumped in front of us and offered to play us his favorite song <laughs> on the bongo hi bo sang it there that's when, that's when i knew i was like okay clearly this is how the media works you know and this is how and then also what the the issues that are happening in kaya that's another thing i started seeing you know that's another thing i started seeing like where um when 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 mom and dad had an argument you know pumi newspaper article and it's the worst picture of my dad's facial expression because it needs to land with the title you know what i'm saying i was like okay cool the narrative, so that yes, the narrative yeah. Agenda, yeah. Uh, then i saw the power of media and how it can ruin um your life and your family's life and impact you and then the stories and all that so i just realized what's okay shout. as far as entertainment goes media is only your friend mark thunderborn you know um that's what i learned from that and that's yeah that's pretty much that and then your um is from those days of an activist or the activism days yeah. all the way to fandak I wouldn't even and in Kambi already like people would not might not know who's she's not in the, in the in the spotlight. When did you start and why did you like that's a wrong way of putting it. Why did you last long in concert? <laughs> so <laughs> the person uh, how show, are you? Okay, let me put it this way. Each Tina, is Zool. There was yeah. But Kunis Katina that's a cool that's more value of first I mean the same concert. But there was the time when I Wait you know my song as a first and and then I was out of there. Yeah. Only when life happens. And then, and then, I I I and then when I self we as Buse like oh after a couple of years of maybe varsity and just yeah, maybe like yeah, five yeah. years or after seven years or whatever whatever so that's what happened to me. Yeah. And then when you discover Elunkulukon then you discover oh this is the reason this why it means, it's yeah. like the you know what I mean, etc. So I, I would like to maybe you know find out more about your story as far as Inkonzo is concerned because yeah. if there is anyone in Anasakula who they would call, yeah, that's what I would say to you now. Yeah. But the public does not know that. Yeah. And the public does not know Ubzi, Otandi Inkonzo, like the way this guy is literally a church guy. Like Laban Labesi takes hey. I think obviously um through the way I speak about my god-given talents you know God is the author and the creator of everything you know and the finisher ah it's on to school very like you say about every Sunday the whole house you know you are something so shout out to my mom and my sisters you know because I was raised by them in that light also so it's like 
always at the church, um, and then you start serving at the church, and then things are much ramis on to you, you know. So I had I had a responsibility, you know. Okay, but if when I about say woman to pity's cares is on, you must always be there because the pity's cares are called, you know. So the, the 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 way I was able to last longer was my involvement in it. But then also when I was grown enough to make my own decisions, I was still like, I matter, this is my decision, you know. Because I believe like uh, as as God being your maker, man, like if on my puga, you have to take it to I store. You know, I mean, we used to uh, a corner shop or Ellerins. Or no more is the Ellerins lying as I say in the corner. At the end of the day, you can try find replacement places to fix it until you have to go to the creator, which is Apple. So now that Apple is a sentinel rose bank, my answer was say funny phone in Apple Yale until we reach like the whole actual. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, yeah, then you discover good. It was supposed to be cool and cool even the in goal. the first place. Sure. Yeah, so that's my chat about life, man. Is that if I'm made in God's image and I'm his child, he should be the first person I'm closest to. Mm. Because there's other people that have advice, there's other people that have opinions and whatever. But as far as me being man ma- made by him and not being man made, that's you know that's where my my foundation lies you know uh, TGDSOY is what I live by trust God don't sleep on yourself and that's what's written behind my chain you say know? that again TGDSOY trust God don't sleep on yourself that's the motto so it was I mean that was always reminding me tomorrow's church as we say something you know because obviously my mom set that rule um, set that lifestyle and then my sister Utanda now and he got me into that and then we were both involved and she's now a pastor she's actually um the one uh, leading La pa- eh, na lady AFM, you know, uh, the senior pastor at La Paya. So it's like, yeah, even when I had the decision to not, you know, I felt like I still need to stay rooted to him because of what I believe, you know, and then into me meeting people like Carl Dinkelman, um, leading me into 3C Ministries, you know, Pastor Pearson, Pastor Bert Pretorius, and then me growing in, 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 in that, you know, in, in a church that, that's big on discipleship. You know, learning the importance of, of, of being a disciple, being a leader, being led, and just um, just being committed and, and dedicated to the work of God. You know, that's what that's what kept me there. And I've never found a reason to, to, to leave Christ or God because everything I've done has worked out to his favor. You know what I mean? So, yeah, like you saw, you know what I mean? So it looked right and it made sense. Because I feel like a lot of times Abantu will relate something to Umuntu and say, Utingen's a soul, Mara, when I went to soul. Do you get what I'm saying? So for me, everything that was said was done. Everything that was lived was truth and applied. You know? Sisters got married, got kids in marriage, sharp, perfect template. You know, so everything was straight and clean. So I was like, okay, sharp. Unkulunkuli out sharp. How many talents do you think you have? Because I always kind of believe. Umuntu no muntu uile nta iyo and just like him on fire, on a tola a pick and pay a spa a a masulumani ni eka si a spa zasho bgo pro those are distribution platforms. Yeah, I look at it the same with what who or who we are or whom we are, and that's why I love your your being rooted in in in, in the word of God gives you the ability to choose whichever expression or platform mm. to put out. Uh, or, or to to serve him, yes. right? You can either serve him through beating out drums, serve him through doing stand-up comedy, mm. serve him through doing this type of content that make that just might make people laugh. But do you wanna you know the bigger picture, or the end goal? They won't even understand of what they're learning if I'm sharing this type of content. Yes. Or or, or you wanna share his 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 message or embrace him through writing a song being on stage, presenting a TV show, etc, etc. Now let's talk about those different talents. Why, why am I putting it that way? I'm putting it that way so as to say to everybody out there who kind of feels they are multi-talented, exactly what you were saying earlier as well. But unasabi, who's expressed, who's on the line, who's on the line. So when I, let's talk about not necessarily the platforms, but the talents. Which are talents that you think when you have? Because those ones that I know you for, or that the public knows you for, yeah. You are flipping good at. You are good in everything that you do. Shout out. Um, I think the biggest thing I want to say is that I have creativity. Like the one thing he said is, okay, not creativity. Because 
all my talents and everything I can do flows through that. I, I like saying um, for people that are, are, are intellectually smart in terms of numbers, there's an answer for what they do. One plus one is two. You can find that answer in a textbook. We type of people that have a blank page. That's who we are. Like Nigi blank page. There's no answer for what I can do or what I'm about to do. So that's what it is. I can take an instrument and because most of the things I do are self-taught. Like I didn't go to school for them. I didn't go to a class for them. You know, like impersonations, voiceovers. It's like things that I see and I can put in and, and execute. So that's, that's, that's the biggest thing for me. Like if something can be learned, then I'll probably do it. If something can be taught, then I'll excel in it. Because not everybody was born already knowing these things, if you get what I'm saying. So that's another thing. Some, some people are, are, are sleeping on themselves on the notion of you can still learn. You know, I remember when you were having a conversation, Nami, I think four or five years ago, Oti, and my man, I still want to go back to school, my man, and just finish this thing, yeah, boy. And then you were mentioning, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like that thing of, you're still in you, as TJ Spoo felt like, no, let me still go back to school and learn. You know, there's talents out there, there's classes, there's Yaboni for YouTube, Bene University, Mabes graduates as Bangaki, the school of YouTube. That's all you need to do. Apply your time, apply your mind, and learn certain things. So that's where my talents go in is that as long as there's creativity involved or needed, I'm the guy, you know. But I think my best one is dancing. I can do that in my sleep. So there's dancing, then humor, then rapping, then drumming. Then everything else. No, what is everything else? Presenting? Yeah, hosting. Oh, pre okay, okay. let's count them. Let's start. So let me do this, actually. I'm very good at improvising. Okay, okay. Maybe let's let's do it this way. So, okay, let's do it this way. Komelan. Let me start. Okay, go. I can present. I can host. I can present both on radio and on TV. I can host the show, shoot the show, and edit the show. I can write a song and it becomes a hit. I can ghostwrite the song, write the hook and the chorus, and shoot the music video, dance in the video, bring my label into the video, <laughs> <laughs> and post the video, and market the video, and make it trend on social media. I can write books. I can write best-selling books. I can, I can uh, design the cover of your books. <laughs> <laughs> I can DJ. I can introduce you DJing and you'll be playing my songs. <laughs> <laughs> I can produce hits, not a hit, but hits. I can produce songs that fall into people's everyday speech. Pagati? Inside. Location. <laughs> I can create drinks and spread it into different flavors. I can help you name the other flavors that you made for these drinks. <laughs> By the way, he was involved. I remember <laughs> when we were doing the long, um, the two liters. The two liters, yeah, yeah. So, yo, uh, it's just, there's so many things to talk about. No, That's crazy. Okay, now let's go into um, the varsity time. I'm yeah. going back to my university. Yeah. You know, others are starting to upfund my university. Never alone now, it is. So, song is cutting, looking, pillar, time. Well, my parents. Um, and then obviously in the time uh, now bang sheep bang is a mid range my man. Yeah. Now I'm in MGI out there. First year. Obviously I, I had a, I had, I was the best dancer in school. So I, I still have my energy, my talents. And I'm like, okay, Fede, I know my focus is to study graphic design, but I'm not gonna let who I am go, yeah bo? So reading Safunuk Chiva man, Safunuk Bonu to Gwen Zagala and my fresh as a team, you know what I mean? Sure. So I got in there, and obviously I was the class clown, so people liked me because of the humor. I found out my chance, I thought I'm going to keep keeping out our so when I am, made roommates, housemates, became friends, we formed a clique. First year already, we battling these dance crews. Zala Peskolin. Yeah. We were called Cold Fusion, Sapedla Manyam Altababiza, Cold Red. Sabashaba Luza, Bayego Lucha. What was that move? The Crumpers, Tom the Yard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Those, type, those days, yeah. So. Uh, step up in them. I'm out, I'm out, I lose, and that's like we the dancers in the school. Before you know it, people that had local brands in the school were giving us clothes. We were performing at the Freshers. I was now hosting Marketing Day. I was now emceeing at the Freshers. I was now emceeing at any other party that there was there. 
you know, in the out here I make stuff, engineered by stuff, we pick a DJ and I was MCing. So that's already me kind of doing what I'm doing now then, while balancing school, of course. And, you know, my friends were always supportive of me. Uh, they were always also seeing good, you know. Nangon robot ya push, you know. And then even there too, I was still like praying and fasting now and then. So when I'm going in, you know, then it's like, oh, because you're coming with the prayer prayer level, you know, those type of things. So they, my friends have always known, you know. Because you're about to know there's level. Yeah, it's the level. Another level. It's the only level. Sure. You know, so yeah, I'm a scavi, low, so cardi, kush, uh, 50, achille, I'm a chance now, you know. Um, Thai. LSG, yo, LS, there was a whole lot of bunch of dudes in, in, in Kulina, Buddha, you know, in the varsity uh, space, and they were watching me. I did my first freestyle go YFM when I was still in varsity with Season Scoop. Um, I went there, AYFM, bang mamele res, bang buye res, like the whole res, like, yo, it's like, you know, it was crazy. So it was like, everybody could kind of see it, and they were always supportive, and that was my varsity, because right after that, I do blast straight. Yeah, so that's, that's cool. You know, and even in high school, I was almost living what I'm living now, just in the four walls, you know. Whereas, you guys dancing. Like, you know, that's the, that's the love. And also, that's where I learned interaction and engagement with people. Because, PC2, I was the best hip-hop dancer. There was this other guy, the best uh, house dancer. The difference in Tang, I would off stage, he was just himself. I was in gay, but... But I mean, off stage, hey, you're right, you're sharp. I'm not sure why you're not shopping. 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 I was like a people's person, I'm like throwing jokes. So people felt like bangers, even though bangers like that. So, and even jokes like, I'm not sure why you're not shopping. I'm not sure why you're not shopping. So, literally, if I'm getting on stage, the people are remembering the conversation they had with me. You know? So every time I'm on stage, I'd get a louder cheer because it's like they feel like I'm their cousin, man, or like out here, you know what I mean? And, that's and even till today, I feel like that. Yeah, you know? <laughs> know. I'm below you, actually, mean, in my mind. Like, this is it. Like, I'm below you, I'm below you. Yeah. And other people, yeah, so, robot boy, yeah, but I'm like, nah, this is a robot boy yeah. type of thing. Yeah, yeah, So I get you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. even those things, I learned there, you know? When the teacher says, I'm told me like, please go to this teacher, tell Mrs. Nichols, Uguti, um, I have to uh, fill in the textbook number three. Yabo. Okay, now you class in, ma'am, sir just asked you to eat last long. He said, yeah, ZMZ, ZMZ. You know, it was already almost like the 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 the, the experience I'm experiencing now, just in a smaller scale. You know, now mm. to that class in, Mrs. Bayes was like, I was like her favorite student. Yeah. Sing any still eighty three at class in this one time. But she but she you too. But uh, man, but what about him? But you see, we are disappointed in you. Ati, no, me, right. yo, me na, but you know, maybe he was just uh, fixing certain things because he's a prefect. But yeah, uh, ma'am, ah, uh, ma'am. There was this one time yeah, in Mrs. Bezos' class. I need to we sometimes had audio book listening. Yeah. So let read you. I found Yo, that is so dope. Yo, me nang kumbu. Okay, but anyway, me nang pelang kule and kumbu and kelly the cast, but yeah. Because yeah. But back in those days, yeah. But I, but there was also book reading classes. Sorry, sorry to the subcontinent. Yeah, not nah, easy. So my let read you. I span. My all logos are mugu. Any twenty figures are mugu long And then the ma'am goes, "Ah, Mzi, won't you like? Won't you wanna just come help?" Yeah, but I saw your sugar man yang phone zobo nutu kwenye zagala. Bang figure ya kali I span. You see, it just needed you to be here. I just let you know. It just let Yo, Mrs. Bayes. Favorite. Yo, Mrs. Bayes love me so much. We have the Banok Banok Shama announcement in Takom, yeah. But see, with every class, please send a representative. With every class, please send a representative to the office for a newsletter, or whatever, yeah, And then I need to know everybody is just saying, ma'am, ma'am, yeah, so that ma'am can send them. Allah papi ba azila pa ya. Because I was like, please can I? Okay, MZ, you can go. No, it was amazing, man. Like, Mondio High. Mondio High School was a great school, man. You know? And yeah, like, Mondio Primary, Mondio High, MGI, all is surrounded by positivity, you know? I don't think, um, I don't think there's too much hate around me. And I think why I'll say that is because 
besides the, the, the vastness of, of the brand, you know, Robot Boy, if you don't like my humor and you don't think I'm funny, you should maybe like my dancing. If you don't like the dancing, maybe my presenting. If you don't like my presenting, maybe you should like my music. And then if none of my talents um, are your thing, then my hustle should inspire you. The fact that I do so many things, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's why I find it so hard for people to not get it. Because it's not about me. You know what I'm saying? It's about the brand that represents this. So, young black child, you can do it. You can. Rather, try and fail. Well, it's okay, I can't. Instead of assume that you can't and never know. Mm. You know, since catch up on your would have, could have. Yo, don't live that life. Sound up my 78. Yo, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Don't ever live that life. You know what I mean? So, that's Nkabi, Nkabi. Shun Nkabi. <laughs> you know, so now let's get into the. Oh, sorry, finish up. Yeah, so yeah, pr- pretty much that's it. You know, uh, rather try and fail to know that you can't than assume that you can't and never know. The robot boy name. I remember there was a time when I was like, at the time, my heroes, you know, Bad Boy T, DJ Fresh, yeah. Semi T, Fat Joe, you know. So being Abanga now, I'm a Kamanjalo, you know, I was American, i but something said to me, I can't malako But at the time, there was already Usubu Maloy and Sharon Sikhrotman, Usubu Maloy, Hamona Tefel from TKZ. Somebody, and then not only, not only one person, repeatedly, I used to always hear, no, but you can't call yourself Usubu. There's already Usubu Maloy. Mm. His brand was so powerful then that till today, older guys, Nanyekas, oh, Maloy. They call me Malo. Yes, they know it's me. The, yes, but they know. It's that, but it's like a, a, association. A, yes. Almost. Yeah, yeah. Where well, any Sbu, a cast, even I know, you can go ask any Sbu in any township, especially in Gauteng, in Gauteng townships. Yeah. Abo Sbu, Babizo, Abo Maloya. And that's yes. the impact that oh, Sbu Maloya had. And big up to you, Hot Man. Yeah. And shout out to him because I've never mentioned this in public. When I was still a come up, nobody knew me, nobody, like nothing. I was still on the, I was not even on TV yet, no radio yet, no nothing. He, he just heard of my name buzzing at Tembisa. I was doing the same thing as you were doing. I was hosting about Mr. Tembisa, about Mr. Tembisa. I was DJing at my party in Wasekasi. You know when you're a famous artist, which Smoo was at the time, when you're performing in a certain township and maybe there's someone who opens for you or there's someone who's emceeing that contest or whatever you're going to perform in, yeah. you sort of get to be next to them. Yeah, for that so moment. I got that chance. For some reason, he liked me so much that he was going to go on a tour that he pulled me along, where he called it Sbu, because I told him of this thing. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm coming up, guy. Like yeah. I'm coming up, guy. 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 I'm you know what advice he gave me? He's like, don't worry, my contribution to you. He didn't even know that I would blow up and become a DJ Sbu. He said, and, and I told him, and then he said to me, he asked me, what do you want? I said, I'm going to DJ Sbu. What to them? That's fine. I'm already established. Mm. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to come with me. This is a guy who knew nothing, nothing about, about me. You. And I looked up to him, Sbu, TKZ, nanan. He did a tour of a Sbu Maloya versus DJ, DJ Sbu. Imagine you right Very now, sick. like doing a tour with Intuanengazi, Umzaifan. Was a was a Libuakom or Umzaifan, was a Mlaz. Doing a tour with him. Do you know what I mean? It's like, there will be some of your fans who are going to be like, Manjuba and Mzai fan. Yes. Or they're going to want to see what this Mzai fan is has about. to offer. Yeah. So I ended up having to get too excited to share this story so that I honor you, Khrod man, because they always say, you must always give them flowers while they're still alive. So still if alive. he gets to watch this interview or somebody just screen grabs or this clip and he sees it, I just want you to know, Putsubu Gutnyabong, Khrod man, and, and, and thank you for so much because what that did for me then for him, it was just him doing a couple of shows with me, yeah. like five or seven shows. I don't know however long it was. And what, what, a, what a great guy. And what, it actually gave me a, a, a glimpse yeah. into the industry yeah. because of what he did. And I, I can never forget that. So I've never shared it on any platform. So as I've, rem- I've remembered it because of what you were just saying now, yeah. I kind of felt, I, I know some of you guys get pissed off on this podcast. 
but I have to say this because Jo and I wouldn't even fetch you in the industry and in public. So I just want to give him his flowers yeah. while he's still alive. It I don't even I don't even out. remember where I was trying to go with the next question. But anyways, I get emotional because till today he still remains my hero, you know? So so big up to Subu my lawyer. That's now crazy. let's come back to the interview. I might I might do that also. It's an idea. I might just bring, because I get a lot of DMs, I get a lot of requests, but I think my capacity is the problem. But once I've built my capacity, I'll take someone on the location tour. And you never know, Mfetu, who you're giving a break to. Yeah. Well, when we had a chat, Mina now, at some point I did, well, this is a couple of years ago, this is before even Massive Metro, Mofire time, when Mofire was starting, you nobody breakfast. believed. You did not only believe here, you did not only believe in, but from the beginning, Jay, and then vice versa. I didn't know that you would become who you are becoming now. But there was just something that said I should, I should just, you know, just bring you into my space. Yeah. And who you are becoming makes me to even brag more. <laughs> in I am, yeah. in I am. You and you know, know I lost that picture of the day we met. I'm so angry. <laughs> Melrose Ark. Yo. Yeah. Melrose Arch. Melrose Ark. Hey, Melrose Ark. The Arch. The Arch. 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 Anyway, Arch. I'm remembering a clip from Wildlands Volume 1. You know, at the end of, after the songs, yeah. Basically, those Makwa running clips. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so so I forgot where I was going with my train of questions. It ended up having to give props to Usbu. Usbu, yeah. But maybe let's get into that. Mentorship, and you were just saying, would you get a lot of DMs, Konaman? Yeah, so I'm one person, my people know, I'm one person that replies, you know. Because I don't even call my supporters, supporters or fans. I call them team, team robots. Everybody's team robot. Like, you're my team, you know. Because if you like and share my stuff, you're part of my growth. So I reply as much as I can. I laugh, I respond, shana my voice note, but yeah, it's all just my man's birthday, shama birthday, shout out, you know. Um, and I think uh, when I do, I when I do have the time, I do like spend time with certain people. And then this thing also, I born in Java. Us Java has fans in different provinces that he knows, that he hits up Magellan and gives them an experience. So he has good success. Peter Meris got a shop. He meets up with that super fan, uh, brings them backstage, enjoys stage performance, take them back, and then he keeps it moving. I think there's like got that in Durban, Johannesburg, Nelspruit, he's got like that. And when I saw him, when I saw him do that, I was like, yo, that's crazy. You know, so I've done that once or twice, and I think I think I'm trying to do that more now, you know. Um, and and mentorship too is also a, a thing of uh, knowing what you're bringing to the table in terms of Lomontom Leta, you know? You can't waste people's time and you must always be aware of people that also want the growth, you know? Because sometimes people say things without having the heart for it. And then it ends up not uh, fulfilling what you would have wanted it to fulfill, you know? So a lot of times people need to show that they want it with their level of push and their hustle. And the right, the right time is gonna come and things are gonna happen for them. Yeah, and, and not everyone is going to be the right student or the right yes. mentee. Yes. They think things must just happen. Mm. They think they must just be spoon-fed. Mm. And I mean, I've always been like, the fact that you are around me, you must do your own hustle. I've always been like that. I'm yeah. not going to spoon-feed you and open doors for you. The fact that you are around me, the door is already open. Yes. You must act. And you know what's crazy? I like telling people this. I say, so Usbuda, he's got, he's got three kids. He's, as his DJing side, Ulindesh. His motivational speaking <laughs> side, Utali. Then his everything else, him. <laughs> so it's crazy yeah. how it's like. Because you know, I'm not even aware of the people who are in the world. They are not even aware of the people who are in the world. And the fact yes. that they are around you, other people are already taking them seriously. Other people are already taking them seriously. I remember when, Yo. when we were starting Massive. You yeah. were there, we started it together. Yo. And when I was like, man, look at this, everything here. Yeah. 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 Nothing when yeah. I get in my element. Yeah. Man, look at this, producer, videographer, editor, it's the future, right? Yeah, in, 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 in. It's exactly what, it's becoming what we already said at that time. Yes. But what I love about Maluel, what I've loved about Trevor, and, and Trevor Zungu, at the time it was Trev, he was Trevor Madonna. What I love about Robert Boy, what I love about um, Zahara, or Pro Kid, may so rest in peace, or Brown Dash, or. There's so many I can name now. Stefan, Black Steph. Can I add something crazy? When you were saying um, the doors are already open or you, me being in your space or you are, you, are having, you are having a conversation about being in my space means the doors are already open. 
Uh, when we are talking about um, the fact that and there's other people that want you to like bring them and drag them and they're not pushing, they are a bit lazy or whatever. Um, so I'll say on Sundays, right? Okay, there's a show that played on the 31st of um, December on Channel O, uh, 21 Wrap Up, which I was hosting. On Sundays, there's an event I also host called You Are at a rooftop, also airs on Channel O. Um, then I did Channel O Lockdown House Party uh, during the course of lockdown, which is one of the biggest platforms I've ever been on, which put me out there to provinces, not just um, the country. Uh, then I did uh, Shimza's One Man Shows um, every 25th of December at Timbisa. Then I did his One Man Shows, I say um, Zone 6. Um, and all of these happened through a relationship I built with Shimza whom I met in your presence. And right after your interview with him, he was promoting his show, and I said to him, so I do these funny videos on Twitter, can I please market your show? And you give me like five minutes on your stage. And he said, okay, now, sharp. I'm like, okay, can I get a number to call? He's like, no, take my number. I'm like, your number? Like, yeah, give me, take my number. You know, that week, he said it'll be at the stadium. I called him, he said, no, come get it. I said, I need a t-shirt and a cap for product placement. I do these videos in my car. He's like, okay, shop. I went to the stadium. He gave me a shirt and I did a video. Um, guys, Yazi, is it just a Christmas slugil? As fun as a normal day, yabo. But I feel like it must go to Shai Zichu. I wish him as one man show you, Chavi, you crew, but what, 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 That was my content. I just threw it in there, but I kept it moving. When the hashtag trended on Twitter, the hashtag OMS, when you clicked on the hashtag, it was my video first. That was number one. Then Shimza's post, then Shimza's people. So on his hashtag, I was number one. So I screenshotted that and I sent it to him. And he said, okay, I see you. It's dope. Zwagad. Then on Saturday, I got on stage. He saw me. He just gave me the mic. He's like, go, go, go. I actually see music. I see crowd. The crowd started laughing. <laughs> and I said two or other three things. I said, no, Music started playing. That was the start. And I started where it, it, it is now. And I was tracing back so that people can understand that that's how it started. Your interview, no shames, because being around you means I get to access these people. I get to see these people. I get to meet these people. But it's not just meeting them, but it's also shooting your shot, but respectfully too. Not during interview, not while you have his time. You know what I'm saying? When you say, I'm saying, you look shooter, you don't say right. And from that five minutes on stage, it became 10 minutes, it became 20 minutes. I mean, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes again. And then I was part of the MCs, then I was the only MC at the one year season six. Then I was another part of MC. And then the last one I performed that and then into lockdown house party. By the time I figured lockdown, I said, who can I call? No man, no robot, you know? And all of the stuff, people will see me now doing the channel all stuff always with Shimza. And they don't understand that it came from the relationship I had to build with him, but me meeting him through you. So that's also why a part of everything I'm doing with the people I know is still through you. So besides the inspiration and everything else I've learned from you, it's being around you that's also got me here. And that is so dope, bro. You know, I, I always say that, and, and big up, I'm so proud of you. Shout out. That's why I always say I love you because you understand what you, you, you also have got something to offer on the table while respecting the hustle. Because some, we're not saying would you disrespect your current hustle, Delela your boss now or, or where you work because you think don't don't burn your bridges. You know? You must always keep great relationships just like now. <laughs> I actually called you today. Yes. I literally called you four hours ago, but look at you. Yes. Yeah. Because you're always able to. Young first time. It's yeah. not like my saying Julia la panai. No. Saying menu or saying last When 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 Spook calls and it's funny, Peng no Kelvin. Oh, okay. Um, run, <laughs> he just went to Cape Town now. Oh, okay. So I just put you on speaker. Yeah. And then, my man, what are you doing today? And then after after we hung up the call, he's like, so you're going? I'm like, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel I'm one, man. We call him his colleague. My man, I'll say one, it's one, my man. That's what it's about, guys. Sometimes a, an opportunity doesn't look like, it's not wrapped as an opportunity. As they would say in Konzo, and Uche, Sume, Figa, or 
you know, you will not necessarily be like looking like Jesus. Yeah. Or, you know, he's, he can come <laughs> in. Funama of when and he like the libo. Young Christian, he can come in the form of some boy and who's like, hey, it's a little too rand. You know. Yeah. But it's just how how you treat that person. But also when you when you are blessed, you need to understand. What and when you are going to go down with fun and so I realize that with singing, I can't just sleep on this opportunity. I need to grind. Yes. And that's why I mentioned people like about DJ Malwell. I'm so proud of you as well. Yeah. What you've done with your career, what your life, just being around. Being around um, us and being around me at Metro FM from back in those days. I mean, I've, that's how I've always operated. Because yeah. I'm a hustler, I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. But I take my time to do my due diligence. Without a good champion, I'm born with law. And big shout but out to Shimza. I forgot to mention, shout out to Shimza. Yeah. So go ahead, give him a shout out. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Shimlai, I already know. <laughs> Appreciate you, King. I know I'm trying to get you, sure. And, and, you guys, I think not even you guys, all of us. See, Atanda, we work so hard that sometimes we don't even realize what I've been working so hard for all these years is now here. Mm. You need somebody to tap you and be like, hey, don't bamba, don't type of thing. You, you know, know what's crazy? Sorry to cut you. My, yeah, aunt, my aunt called my mom. This is three years ago. Before lockdown, 2019, 2018. You know, my aunt called my mom, Mrs. Lindiwe. Um, I phone you my mom. I Umzi is already where he's trying to be. She said, I don't think Umzi realizes that, but Umzi is already where he's trying to be because I watch him, you know, as in Yam Bugel, and then Auntie, we are not to your push, I'm not to Sasam, but I think Agaz, which is already where he's trying to be. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, what? <laughs> that was so crazy because one thing about. Uh, industry or let me say success is that if family like especially distant family usually uh, I don't think they're as invested as your followers or as your best friends they know that but I think she's been watching for a while but for her to say that it shook me when my aunt told me that well when my mom told me what my aunt because even my mom then said wow it wasn't it was unexpected coming from Mrs. Lindy, but it means she's been watching and then my mom realized what she's right. So I think what she was trying to do by that is also saying you don't have to strain yourself too much. Because everything you need to do still has to be calculated. And I remember these from your videos, the your biggest problem, yeah. The biggest <laughs> problem is that Usale <laughs> is a You know what I'm saying? Like your biggest problem Your biggest problem is that Upapa over. <laughs> As mine to go to pop him right over. You know, you need to hustle with the plan. You still need to have a plan. You, still yeah. need to have, you know, and that's what it is. It's like, I think my aunt was just saying, I mustn't burn out trying to make it. When I've made it, I must just get recognized now. See, because those are two different things. Making it or, or establishing yourself and being recognized are two different things. There's a lot of people that are good and established and are solid. It's just that I suppose. Because opportunity means preparation. So when the opportunity comes, you have to be prepared. And a lot of people are already prepared. But I the opportunity to go to the or now I'm going to go to the car. You know what I'm saying? Or now I'm going to TV show. You know what I'm saying? Like Uncle Waffles has been pushing. There's videos of her DJing before the popular one. But now when the popular one came, she was also ready. Now she's moving. You know what I'm saying? Things like that where you don't become a one hit wonder or something doesn't trend and then fall but you'll be consistent in how you grow yourself you know so that's another thing that was very very powerful from my aunt to say that you know and yeah those are all also like my biggest pillars man my aunt my mom my sisters family and for me what makes me excited as well and proud is the fact that you're still the same the attitude is still the same there's a lot of people when you know I'm like, 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 for one video on Twitter, <laughs> yeah. 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 But like I'm so shincha and it's the only thing I'll change my man is my t-shirt. My man when I go to sleep. I mean. So I say me now. There's a video I think I was talking outside Massive Metro. And yeah. I don't know who I was talking to. I don't I think it was I think it was African Roots or I don't know who it was after the interview and then said called Kanga Pand. And then I say a video that says and it went viral. I mean till today I still see those clips being posted of me saying 
fake it until you make, make it. it. Yeah, but I don't video now. Where I'm like, me lobe it hiding before you buy it hiding. Me, me, I'm so like billionaire. I wanna, you know. Yeah. I was not even aware that those guys are recording, but anyway, I ended up seeing that thing online. Man, it's you fake it until you make. That's what I saw in you. You were already this person, and I confirm it now because you still remain with the same attitude then. But how you were carrying yourself in the come up is still the same way you are carrying yourself now, meaning you already knew that you were already that. That's why there was a point when you were saying to me, Khrotman, you gave me a call. As a comedian, as a rapper, as a drama, as a songwriter, as a what? Because you, you do a lot of things. And then I, I don't even remember what I said to you. But then there was another conversation when we were in a car. I think you had invited me to your church. I think Begukse Pito or Remitra. Yeah, Centurion. Centurion, no? Yeah. Sibuyangara, Sekarin. But give me, yeah, no, Hotman, Sibuyangara, I've got a plan, you know? Because I want to. For me, it was my first time seeing an up and coming person having a plan and deciding. But you, you, you drew me out that plan while we were driving between Centurion. And, 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 and here in, in, in Rosebank Santin, where right now seeing your career unfold, you're still in the beginning, but it's unfolding according to your plan. For me, it was the first time seeing an up and coming artist knowing what they want and how they're going to achieve that and mapping out a plan. And yeah, still not sure about one or two or three things, but knowing good they will become successful, it boils back down to the conversation of saying, fake it until you make it. I don't mean it in a negative context, but I'm meaning it in, in, in a sense of mentally and how you carry yourself. You have to be already that which you would like to become. If you would like to become a judge one day, or you'd like to become an, a successful advocate, or you'd like to become a, a successful doctor, in your mind, you must, you must already carry yourself, carry yourself that way, yeah. treat yourself that way, speak that way, yeah. read those types of books and follow those types of people that you would like to become. And if there's props that I'd like to give to you now, is that? <laughs> yeah, shout out. Out. Yeah, because now we assume that I the subconscious mind I see away. Yeah. Because you are not that. But because you speak like that, you speak those words because you need to remember you're connected here. Yeah. Industry home law, Malaya pick up. And in the as they always say, words create. Yeah. Even in Genesis, right? And yeah. So young in the beginning there was the the word. You understand? Yeah. So and God, and God, say believe or go to eat eating yeah. automatically lunku lunku or what other people would say the universe uh, 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 responds and yeah. it takes you there because yeah. it ends up believing so who you are you say you are you say you are yeah because God didn't make light he said let there be light and if you made in his image whatever you say also will come to thank pass. you because lunku lunku yourself because why you can give permission what do I know you are a small letter G yeah. Now you are made in my image. Yeah. So I'm not going to So I'm not to actually not aware of the unkulunkulu, but I'm not going to be able to do it. And it's cool because it's a journey that we all have to go through. Now, a couple of years ago, I was still just. But little did I understand with it, the, the B I B L E Bible, great book. And, 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 and if, if it's the Quran, whether, whatever it is, yeah. those great books. Whether you believe in religion or you don't, but those are books that I would like to encourage you to go at least read once in your life, even if you're an atheist. That's why I guess some people would, would say B-I-B-L-E is basic, basic instructions, instructions before, before leaving, leaving Earth. Earth. Thank you, son. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so where is Mzi going, Dot? Mzi is going uh, overseas, my man. Thank you, son. International. Um, obviously, I'm not trying to go live there. I don't know <laughs> you remember that video? Yeah. <laughs> that hey, like, I'm, I'm, I think it was yeah, down It was down, down yeah. It was down, down, down there. keep a sack of busy song. Man, I'm going to get it. I say, I tell you, Jay, too, right? But I want to make a fire cream and so kite him, right? I'm a rasputa man, and I want to jump in the cell. I'm a guy. I'm a cell. That's crazy, man. Um, now, Umzi is going uh, international now, man. You know, uh, it's all about recognition. 
stamping the name on different countries, um, but obviously uh, bringing the South African flag with, you know what I'm saying? Because I think what that does is, all it does is it brings attention like high, you know? So that bang us up big fair, man, you know? Because I remember also the story you told me when you went that side. But with the Sebabuza one, are there more black coffees? Are there more Trevor Noahs? You know? So if you're from, that means, you know what I'm saying? So that's all it is, man. Always pushing, uh, doing bigger things for the next person. So, yeah. So let's cut it here and save for the next interview so yes, the sir. next interview will probably be in a year's time or two years we don't know but then at least we'll have some things to talk about and catch up yeah but if there's anything that i have to say right now number one as you've already said shimza i'm so proud of you you're so inspiring i'm inspired by you even though you found me in the industry and shout out to brawili i remember the conversations i was still doing the yfm afternoon drive show going crazy but he used to speak like time alarm and people would always say, Tamil, I'm really not sure I'm over Shanghai level. I'm not blind, I'm not blind. I'm not blind, I'm not blind. 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 I'm I was sitting there. Yeah, I'm Yeah, I'm Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Brawili was the biggest fan of Shimza before Shimza was even known by anyone. Thanks. Even before Shimza was on any radio station. So big up to Brawili. But I want to say big up to you, Shimza. Shimi, I'm proud of you, bro. I'm proud of you for putting our our, our, our classy in the map. Itembisa for continuously doing so. I'm proud of Skumba and, and, and everybody else about Abu Pel Mudiadi. There's a lot My of us from Skumba <laughs> <laughs> that are putting the flag out there. But uh, but uh, I just want to say that thank you for putting this man on. Thank you for 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 for, for giving out school uniforms at Tembi and being that positive role model. Employment thank you and for hangouts. being you, bro. Yeah. Thank you and continue doing it. And, and I'm so proud of all of you guys that are putting others on. I mean, if I start talking about the great work that Mapuri has been doing, I won't even stop because he's also been helping you too. Yeah. Pack out inside and pitch me in freestyle. <laughs> yeah. Nah. And, and, and shout out to this Buddha as well. Yeah. Smuda. Ah, no, oh, Smuda. 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 Yeah, Smuda. Yeah, Smuda. Yeah, Smuda. Smuda. Yeah, Smuda. Yeah, Smuda. Smuda. Yeah, 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 Smuda. So let's catch up soon. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Yeah. And thank you for making time. Your last words to the people. Uh, yo, trust God. Don't sleep on yourself. Uh, don't ever um, sleep on an idea that you have because it may be the idea that the world could have only had. So there's a lot of us that are entertainers, actors, accountants, uh, lawyers, doctors, nurses, policemen. Um, but there's only one of you. So it's not what you do, it's who you are. Trust God, don't sleep on yourself. Robot, R O B O T underscore P O double I. That's right now, you're still in your 20s. In exactly 20 years, you'll be, let's say, roughly 50 years old. I would like for you to look directly into that lens. It's going to zoom into your face. Can you speak to your 50 year old self? What would you like to say to Mr. Mbuli? And maybe a grandchild or two, if not more. Yeah. Zoo 7 must be Sure. Ah, yo. Robot boy. That is 50 years old. Uh, well done for being you and not letting go of the purpose of God in your life. Clean. And then lastly, same camera, your name, your title, what you do. And then uh, I've just been hustled by DJ Smoo on the Hustlers Corner. It say what's up, Mzimbuli, Elepasi, Eletompasi, number plate, ID number, but robot boy, in the streets, the honorable MEC without the E, Mr. Pagat inside, Mr. Location Sila, Agent R. Yo, I've just been hustled by the biggest hustler in the country and the biggest hustler I know, the Khrutman with DJ Smoo uh, on the Hustlers Corner. Fair enough, I want to go to corner, ne? I want to buy some bonus. The corner, pal. Who man a man? Zindiotia. But I come, my chest. Yeah, I can't even join. That's a trip in. I lose the cars. And, and I've listened to those comments. And this year I'm taking the hustlers corner to the to corner, it, to the corner, to the hood. Yeah, very boys are all around you. Very cool. Young first time. And then lastly, um, 
I want to say to you guys, young people are doing great things with their lives. The world has evolved. And internet is where it's at. Trust me. Shout outs to Mpatha. This brand is called Mpatha. Shout outs to Drip. Shout outs to Indwang Originals. Shout outs to Landlords. Shout outs to Patu. Yeah. Shout outs to Rich Mnisi. Shout the out team. to and shout out to you for supporting local brands. Was that intentional? Only. Let's talk about that quickly before yo, you go. Only my latest music video, Oxala. Check it out. It's out on YouTube. That's got yo S God, Style Gang, original design. It's got clean. It's got Kanda World. Yeah, like KO. It's got yo man. Like local brands are the thing, man. Nobody's okay. I think as as they open up and as they get yeah. awakened, which um, there's a lot of it happening all over the world now, especially yeah. in um, they'll follow the movement. And also because you don't know, man, like I'm all about the bigger picture, man. You don't know in turning on in his mind, just you as a DJ Spoo or as a robot boy, just his cap. Sing le gumat bona gute, sing gupina gupi. What it does to that kid's thinking and that kid's emotional state. You go to enter kiasin. Now I look for good robot boy. Shula, shula you know go to for good travel. No, shula you know go to about pushing into pop up. Me, my, my, my local brand, and it's not about it's 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 not about anything else but changing the thinking of the person who made this. Because I want to as in into bazi enza banga kabang kabang uti zozo figure Rosberg, and also that's what's funny because. It's something I didn't get from you, but it's what you do too. So I'm not saying that's fun. I'm not saying that's cool. Cool, cool. I think in the Linton is fun. I'm a separate agent. That's right. You know, <laughs> because you did that with um, yo, know, from Qual to Tanki San to you know what I mean. Local brands, because there's nothing wrong with local brands. Like I heard someone say, hey, hey, come come out here, la pafan, come come Louis Vuitton, man, get a goop. Go and go and me ne go and go. Magai four five. It's really escort. It's really clean. Lala e kind of packed. Like as long as it's dope, man, and it's local, let's put you on, man. I'm that guy. I'm willing, eh? Shout out. And shout out to these guys from Cape Town, Mami Water. Big up to you guys. So young people are doing great things out there. The question is, what are you doing with your life? Thank you so much, guys, for your time. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, be a part of the movement, be a part of the family, and don't forget to switch on that notification bell. Follow Robot Boy, it's at the bottom of the screen, all of his social media handles. And what's next? What's coming up? 2022, it just started? Um, I've got a song. I don't know when this is going to come up, but I've got a Valentine's Day song. We'll sing That's it. hectic. Min. E komba banda ba sing it. No, I le say sing ba kombi. Oh, this duli le la. Mara le manje, uh, ibu yisa, inom tuva, uh, and I love letu. It's going to be something different, but I think it's, it's, it's a space that people are going to appreciate. It's something different also for me. Was she fun in Kitty? No. Was she fun in Yang Yasfila and Awe? Yaga Questa no Tapsi. And also, big shout out to Questa also for messing with me from the beginning. So, yeah, that's the new music, new TV shows, new content. The actual merch is coming out finally, match. You know, Scoop kept telling me, big shout out to Scoop also. He kept telling <laughs> me, tells I need everyone everything. No, Scoop Even told me. You too. Really, I heard it from Scoop. <laughs> Scoop said, I must take out my own merch. And I'm yeah, like, Scoop. He's right, sure. If I take out my own merch, I'm competing with the people I'm trying to put on. Then he said, but you've been putting everybody on for long enough, so I think it's time now. Yeah. So that's why it's time. The Team Robot merch is coming out. Um, I'll, my platforms, online stuff, I'll let you guys know my social media platforms. And yeah, merch, shows, international gigs, collaborations, music, the works. So I got the first TB Robot merch. If you look at my old mixes, maybe from a couple of years ago before lockdown, you'll see me wearing a t-shirt and a robot. Like. And I'm little manda. Red, yellow, amber, green, yeah. and then green. Hey, I want to say that yellow, <laughs> amber, no. Amber. <laughs> Love you, bro. Love you too, Smooda. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon on the next interview. <laughs> I was dope. This is The Hustler's Corner.